Hey guys, Jerry here, and welcome back to Terra Firma Craft. Morning has come, and uh, I'm greeted by the lovely sound of zombies burning. We're just gonna sit around in here until he's probably dead, and then we're gonna dig our way out. Beautiful. Now, um, we did not find any minerals last time. We did, however, get some clay, so that's a really good start for us. Um, so today the shopping list includes, um, but it's not limited to, more wood, first of all. We always need more wood. Um, then the really nice stuff to have would be some um, metal of sorts, like find a place with a bunch of copper on the ground would be really good for us. Um, it's more sticks, we need many more sticks so we can actually make some tools, like I don't even have enough sticks to make a new axe, so hopefully we can get a couple of sticks from this tree here. And then we're going to basically be picking up all the grass and all the... Um, uh, rocks we find, rocks we find, and hopefully we'll get some tetrahedrite or some native copper, depending on our luck. I mean, they're pretty much equivalent, but um, again, it depends on what rock type you're in. All right, uh, no more sticks on that tree, but we do have the remains of an axe here. So, chop down this stump here, and that should bring us a bit closer to our wood goal, at least. Come on, come on, chop, 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 chop. There we go. Plenty of wood. Or at least a bit more wood. Get rid of all this, put that one up there, and then we can put some handles on these tools that I made. More axes, more knives. And we can continue. Now, I'm just kind of trying to move a bit from place to place. Uh, there seems to be a different rock type over there. Um, it might be worth investigating just in in case there um like certain rock types contain uh, certain minerals and if that is really a black rock and not uh, just shadow then there's a good chance that we might actually find some other minerals over there so that is black rock but it's also full of skeletons and i don't appreciate that so let us go another way instead but now we know that at least there's some of the black rock underneath here Basalt, I think it is. So, I'm just kind of going around this mountain here. I want to head south again. Um, but at the moment, we don't really have that luxury because there's a mountain in the way and we can't really climb it that well. So I prefer to just spend my time going around it. And it also gives us the option of finding food, like this. Uh, ooh, 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 tetrahedrite. We have copper, guys, we have copper. Copper right here. Um, next to these lovely soybeans. So, how much copper do, is there here? Just the one little ingot? Or ingot nugget, rather? Or can we actually find more? And do we have to get closer to the mountain, or do we have to go further away? I think it, we need to go closer to the mountain. There's also a different colored dirt over here, suggesting that we have... a uh, different rock type underneath. I hear a baby zombie, that's not good. Because they don't burn during the day. Hopefully they are in a cave that is not accessible to the surface. It would certainly appear so. Lovely. That's quite handy. Um, that one is not ready to harvest yet, apparently. And at least this is too far away to find the copper, if the vein is right over here, underneath this hill. So what we need to do instead is pretty much look for any sort of rock that we can find near or on this hill. Or possibly even on the other side of it. Like normally it's the stuff spread around, yeah, like it's, it's on top of here. So the vein is underneath us now, somewhere. Exactly where... Uh, it's really hard to tell. There's a skeleton over there. I don't like him. He's gonna have to get out into the sun if he wants to get close to us. I'm really not um, impressed with the amount of copper I'm finding here. I mean, we did find a bit, which is really nice, but... It just looks as though it's localized to an area that we can't really easily get to. And that is not good news for us. Like, that kind of puts a damper on my mood, really. I'm so happy to have found copper. Uh, 
guess we climb up again, see what we have. Now once night comes, we're we're gonna have to um, make a pit kill and actually make a uh, make ourselves a um, clay vessel and uh, some jugs for storing drinking water. Normally, if when you don't have a jug, the only way you can drink really is swimming around in in lakes. And while it, it's not really efficient, it's pretty simple. Uh, yeah, having having the jug is much easier. Having a couple of jugs is even better because they tend to break at the most inopportune times while drinking from them. So you get shards of pottery in your mouth. And that's not good. In case anyone is wondering, it's not good to have a glass um, stuff splinter in your mouth. So yeah, we can't really get on top of this mountain here without some serious rock climbing. And it seems that we can't really... We're not really finding any extra tetrahedrite over here, despite our best efforts. Um, so it appears that it was really very localized, which is kind of a shame. Come on, give me a couple more sticks. I need some sticks. Now, the whole stick gathering thing is one of the reasons I really love the scythe in this, um, because it can clear out a tree so quickly. It's normally one of the first tools I make just because it makes everything else so much easier. Come on, come on. That's good enough. Bye bye tree. We need your wood. And then I'm gonna place a little landmark sort of thing where we found the copper and then move on because it doesn't appear there's anything we can access right now. There is one thing we could do um, to get more copper out of it later on other than mining into it, but we don't really have the technology for that yet. There's a lock down there. Bit of careful climbing. Ooh. Was that tetrahedrite? I think it was. So if we search around a bit here... Yeah, there's more. Okay. Uh, uh, how about all the way over here? Nope. Doesn't appear. These rocks over here, maybe. Now, we need ten of them to make any sort of tool. Um, at the moment, we have five. So, we're halfway there. But it's still not quite enough to make anything useful. And it doesn't appear that there's anything more. So, let us put a little landmark here where this rose is, or close to it. Follow us a rock up here. Yeah, let's let's sacrifice these two cobblestone here. And say, okay, we found tetrahedrite right here. And then if we ever somehow come across it in our travels again, we'll know it's there. If we pay attention. So yeah. Out into the plains, punching more rocks. Seeing what what. Generating terrain. Do we have a bit of lag? Yes, we do. Um, I was more thinking, do we have any sort of food inside? We kind of seem to be leaving the trees behind, but that's okay. We got at least a stack, so we can make some clay stuff. There also appears to be more trees over there, so that's not too bad. Um, what I'm really looking for is a way into the mountains down south here. Something that wouldn't take too much effort to go through. Again, we're gonna kind of saving our energy until we have some sort of place. Ooh, is that, uh, that is phalerite, tin. Or, s no, sink, actually, sink, yeah. So we, not really useful on its own, but if we found some bismuthine, um, as well, then we could make, um, bronze instead, bismuth bronze. Which is even better than copper, actually. Uh, like, copper is the tier 1 middle and bronze is tier 2, so it's actually getting a bit ahead, ahead of time. But, again, we would need the bismuth as well, and I'm not seeing anything there, but, yeah, it's well right. Not bad. Still not as good as said read right, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, it seems like we're going to have to try and get into the mountains here. It's going to take a little dip here, go and harvest whatever is over there. It's really hard to tell. Unless you specifically know all how what all the crops look like. 
That was rice. Okay. Zombie there hiding out. Hopefully he's gonna catch on fire and not burn us. Skeleton up there by the pink rock. Lovely pink rock. And what do we have up here? More darkness. I kind of wish um, someone involved in development of Minecraft and mods would find a fix to those lighting glitches because they do cause a lot of headaches. Alright, let's see. We're inside the mountains now. There's a nice little pond down here. Beautiful mountains, actually. Very nice. And this little shelf here doesn't look like a too bad a spot to spend the night. Um, like, it doesn't have um, a lot of dark spots. There's one here which we can just eliminate. That tree up there is floating. That's funny. Strange, maybe. And uh, let us cut it down from it. Have mercy on it. Kind of floating trees. And bam. See if we can catch any of this. Alright. And now to get back to our little chosen shelf and see if we can somehow make it slightly safe for the night. And then we're going to make a pit kiln. Torch, torch, torch. Again, light is life. Basic Minecraft rule there. Light is life. Weapon, weapons, are, weapons are life as well, but um, for now at least life or light will do. Uh, there and finally over here. Okay. Nice little spot so far. Grab a bit more thatch, or straw, because we need it. And then I think we're gonna try and craft ourselves a little hidey hole here. We have some wood, we have some pumpkins we can potentially use. Um, can we actually dig out these two? Yes, we can. And what else do we have? Let's just use the pumpkins. Over there. And there we go, that's somewhat safe. We're not gonna die here at least. Um, Alright, so now we need to make the pit kiln. It's basically just a hole in the, in the, in the ground. So we need dirt and we need to make some clay stuff now. Now the thing is, I have trouble remembering the recipe for the f uh, clay jar. So, um, let me just have a look here. I'm gonna look it up on the wiki for you guys, just so... Let's see... there. Is the correct link? You can't see this, of course, because I'm doing it on my other screen. All the way down, and there we go. Okay, so clay jerk. The recipe is as follows. Bam, bam. And basically, you have the shape of a jerk hero with a handle on. That's how it works. So let's make another one of those. For some reason, I, I can, I think, like, it's a recipe that's really hard to remember. Now the other thing we need to make is a clay vessel, which is basically just a pot that we can store stuff in. And since we can cook four items at a time, I'm going to make four clay items in total. And then go down to the hole here, hold down shift and right click to place the stuff inside the hole. Uh, not there, there. Once you have your clay stuff in the hole, you take some straw. You need 15 in total. Hold down right click to fill it up. There we go, 15. Then you need a stack of logs, you need a full stack. So hold on shift and right click again to place the log on the ground. You can open it and put all the logs in. Finally, we close up that hole so the entire thing is buried and light it on fire. Now normally you can cook one of those um, throughout the night. Like it, it takes from pretty much from dusk till dawn um, to do. So we're going to have to stick around here until that's done. In the meantime, 
let's have a look at our tool situation. We have axes, we have a stone knife still. I think I want to make another knife. Or two. There we go. And then I think we need to make a campfire and actually consider uh, making some more torches because we've used a lot of those. Now campfires are a bit special actually because um, the more air you have around them, like in, in the area above them, the hotter they get. So they actually don't work too well when inside a, a crammed house like this. But I don't really feel like I have any other choice than do it where I'm safe here. So let us throw down the free sticks. Use a fire starter. Put it in the lock for good measure. And then we're just going to use the rest of our sticks here to make torches. But this is a really boring process. So I'm going to pause the recording until morning and then we shall continue. Alright, morning has come. Zombies are burning, um, as usual. And our pit kiln is not nearly done. As I said, it'll take from pretty much from dusk to dawn. Um, we are, however, getting quite thirsty. As you can see, my blue bar uh, down here is nearly gone, and that's giving us slowness. So we need to get some drink somehow. And I believe that the easiest way to do this is just to pretty much jump in the water. Like, we don't have the jugs ready yet, so but we do need some, um, some fluids in us. So we're going to... Take a little trip down here and have a nice swim. Uh, let's find a spot where we can stand in the water without drowning. And then while we stand here, I'm going to show you something else. We found these rice early on, um, but they're pretty useless in this shape. However, if you take a knife and basically cut them up like this, you get four rice grain and you also get four straw. So it's a really good way to get straw once you have some farming going. And as you can see, our uh, water bar is filling nicely now. Um, so that should be enough to last us until we get the jug. I don't want to waste all my time just standing in the water. So let's get back up, collect some more straw on the way, have a look out on these rocks here and see if we find anything interesting. And just continue to climb. Now our little hut here proved very efficient in pr keeping us alive at least. We're not dead, so that's good. And the pit kiln has just completed. So we dig up and get some free space here, hold down shift, and right click on stuff with an empty hand to pick it up. Now as you can see we have two different items. We have the clay ceramic jobs and the ceramic jugs and the ceramic vessels. And the vessels have a unique ability in that they can contain stuff. You can use them as little backpacks or whatnot. So we can put uh okay. yeah we can put a pumpkin inside. We can put um a rice grain and such and use them to free up some inventory space so we can put our metals in that one as lo along with... Um, I want to put my food away. I also don't want to carry around this stuff because it's pretty useless. But we can put cobblestone, we can put dirt in, which is kind of strange but also yet satisfying. Now, I don't reckon we'll come back to this anytime soon so I'm gonna get the thatch because that's... that's a block I consider somewhat valuable. And then we're pretty much gonna move on and continue our quest for some metals. Um, settling near a metal vein, really good idea, especially because you very quickly unlock ability to get more metal out of it um, than just what you can find on the surface. But again, finding it on the surface is very important early on, and because it's really the only way you can get some stuff until you have a saw. So let us. Continue the quest, fill up these ceramic jugs here, right click on the water, and have a nice sip. And once we come, to come back, we will continue south and see what we can find inside the mountains. Hopefully, lots of minerals. So until then, I'm Jerry, and this has been Terraforma Craft Introduction. Bye.